Hello YouTube, today I will show you one more method to use Google on your Huawei device. Ok guys, this is my Huawei P40 Pro, but this should work on every Huawei device, even Huawei devices which are using Harmony OS and even Honor devices. This method is for every device which is banned by Google and can't use Google services. Of course these are not native Google services, if you want to use a native Google services you can find how to do this here. But today I will show you how to do this by using virtual machine and probably this is the best virtual machine you can use on your Huawei device. But before we continue, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's jump in! To use Google services and all the Google applications on our Huawei device, we will need virtual Android. If you open your Huawei app gallery and search here for virtual Android, this is the app that we need. It is fine by Petal Search, very powerful search engine for Huawei devices. So, virtual Android. This is the logo and this is the app that we need. Of course, you can find this application also in Play Store. I will just show you because I have native Google services installed on my Huawei device. This is not important now. Here it is. Virtual Android Game Emulator and Dual Space by Parallel Space Technology. That's the application that we need. And what we need, the version 1.2.2. And because let's imagine we don't have Play Store in our device, we will download that from a specific link. Of course guys, all the links will be in video description. So always check for there. Alright, let's open browser and enter the following link. From a website, APK Monk. It's already asking to download. Just tap on download. Let's refresh it. And just tap download. It is start downloading. Alright, it's already download. It's very small, but it will need additional files when it's installed. So always use Wi-Fi network. Let's install it. It is ready, Virtual Android it is already installed, let's open it. Alright, make sure to download the resource package in order to use a Virtual Android normally and need to download 600 megabytes. So be sure you are using Wi-Fi network. Ok, confirm and it will start downloading. Alright, additional packages are downloaded, now application is asking for permissions, so be sure you give it all the permissions, because other way it will cause a problems with some of the applications. Allow, and select start. Now it's boot up and we are inside our virtual machine. What we have here, of course, play store, we are here for that. Alright, before you continue, just wait a minute, so everything will be ready here, all the apps are updated, Google Play services will be updated, so just wait a minute, until we are waiting, I will just show you how it's working. So you have here a buttons, which you can operate inside virtual machine, but if you swipe up for example, you will go to your mine home screen, and if you tap again and start, it is still open in the background. If we swipe up again, you are going to your main home screen. Just tap here and start. And if you tap here on that button, it will be everywhere. In your main Huawei launcher and inside virtual machine. So if you tap on that bubble and select 
shut down, it will close down the virtual machine. We'll show you that in a minute. If you tap again and select desktop, it will show you here the desktop of your virtual machine. You can select switching and it will just show here your home screen. So if the application already asks about the permissions to be always on top and you didn't give the permissions like me, just go to settings, apps, apps, find that application. Here it is virtual Android and select draw over the apps and just give it the permissions to draw over the apps. And that means now when you open application, this bubble will be always on top even when you are at your home screen. You can see it now here. So if you tap, it will appear here. If you tap here, your home screen will be shown. And here is the bubble. If you tap again, it is shown here. You can continue working and your virtual machine will be here. You can see, you can even see the notifications on top. When you tap again, you will be inside your virtual machine. So guys, I think we are ready. And what we need to do is to use our Play Store. Just tap it and select sign in. Enter your Google account. Enter your password, of course. And agree. Because yesterday there was big problem communicating with Google servers and if you can't see that screen and you receive an error that you can't connect or add your account, you just need to use a VPN. Use VPN outside the virtual machine, enter inside, enter your Google account and you will be locked in. I made a video about this, you can find it here. So we are ready here, just accept. And that's it guys, we are now in Play Store. Search for applications, for example, Gmail. Here it is, install it. I will just show you that everything is perfectly working inside that virtual machine, virtual Android. Let's open Gmail. You can see no slowdowns or anything. My phone is working perfectly. Of course, there will be a small battery drain but it is completely normal and we are inside our gmail now let's try with other application let's open play store again and search for maps for example here it is google maps let's install it you also can import applications if you tap here and give it permissions to install applications of course and you can import applications from your mine huawei launcher you can see here are all my applications and you can just import them inside that virtual machine let's just import strava for example all right, it's imported. Let's go back and you can see now we have Strava inside our virtual machine. Let's open it. And you can see it's perfectly working because guys, you probably know that Strava needs Google Play services to work and you can see it's working perfectly. Let's just open Google Maps and tap my location, give it permissions of course. All right, and it find my location. If it's not finding your location from the first time, just wait a minute and it will find your location. It is just completely operating like any Android. You can close the applications from here and you can play your games from here or do whatever you can do without google services and as i show you if you tap here you can go to your mine home screen if you tap on the bubble and open it it will just go directly to your virtual machine and you can continue your work with google services you can just shut down 
your virtual machine and when you open again that virtual android you can see you even have a shortcut here on your home screen if you tap gmail and we'll directly open gmail if you experience any problems with google maps can't find your location or something just go to settings apps find google maps here here it is storage clear cache clear data okay and just launch it again wait a minute just to connect and just tap here on that location give it permissions to access your location if these places near you are here that means google maps is finding your location and it's perfectly working and you can start your navigation directions to start location your location and it will calculate the road and you can use it perfectly you can see it's ready what will happen if you receive a message for example let's find it out i will just send email to this phone from my other phone i'm sending now the email of course guys we can just go to our home screen and continue our work here on the mind screen of our huawei device you just you can just do what you are doing and you can just regularly check if you open it like this and you can see on the upper left corner we have a notification if you tap here you can see we already receive an email system hacks testing notifications and of course that's email which i just sent so synchronization is perfectly working and this is probably the best virtual machine for your device that was it guys if you like this video and if this video helps you somehow don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos thanks for watching and have a nice day